One of downtown Des Moines most unusual intersections is in for some big changes. Today the city permanently closed the area where Grand Avenue, Locust Street and Fleur Drive meet. KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel is live in the Western Gateway to explain the transformation. Todd. Stacey, we're right next to Central Campus here on the western edge of uh, downtown Des Moines. You can see construction has started. There's road close signs up now. For decades, cars have maneuvered this unusual intersection to get to Grand Locust or Fleur Drive, and soon this area will become downtown's newest green space. Work is already underway on historic changes for downtown Des Moines. This intersection that connects Grand Avenue, Locust Street, and Fleur Drive is closed. The city calls it underused and decided to replace it in conjunction with a massive sewer project far below the roadway. Before Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway was constructed in the early 2000s, 34,000 vehicles a day traveled across the Fleur Drive Bridge. Since Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway is in place, that number is down to 6,000. So things have changed drastically there. For decades, much of the traffic along Grand Avenue going east would use the lane that curves around Central Campus to head to the Fleur Drive Bridge, then head south to the airport and other south side Des Moines locations. Now the city will close the intersection and replace it with new green space. In addition to grass, they'll make room for more multi-use trails that will also head over the Fleur Drive Bridge. A great use for that. Downtown residents seem to approve. We definitely need more um, green space and we definitely have a culture of, of biking as well. So I think, um, I think that's a good move. The city will also convert Grand Avenue and Locust Street to two-way traffic between 18th and 15th Streets. So get ready for some new routes to move around the Western Gateway. And keep in mind that the sewer work here at this intersection comes first, then they put in the green space and they hope to have it all ready to go by the end of 2026. We're live downtown, Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Thank you, Todd.